Hello everyone. Today we are doing a video and today it's Super Bowl Sunday. Today we have Mr. Man the Sports 25 and today we'll talk about the Bauer deal and our personal predictions for the Super Bowl. This is going to be one fun one on Sunday fun day. Let's get into it. So Bauer signed a three year deal for $102 million when he can opt out for the first two years from Los Angeles. He can just, he can be on the team and he can just be like, oh, I don't want to be on the team anymore. I'm going to take a chance on free agency. And I'm going to get the money I earned from that year and then hit the free agency because of an opt out. Sadly, the Mets did not get him. It was really disappointing. He trolled all of us. We all know that. It was disappointing. Mr. Man, do you have anything about the Bauer deal? Yes, first, but VSSI.com. The Los Angeles Dodgers gave Trevor Bauer a $40 million deal in the first season. And in the, sec in the second year, he's getting 45 mil in 2022. And then he gets the extra money in 2023. Huge deal. I will say that. Yes. He's getting paid a lot when the highest contracts mm -hmm. ever. That's going to be a big deal for him. In my opinion, I think the Dodgers gave him a better contract because they gave him more time to opt out than the Mets. The Mets only gave him one year, and they gave him more money to work with. Spencer? So Super Bowl is big. It's anyone's games. We have Tom Brady, a legend, a veteran, like 100-time Super Bowl champ. He is going to dominate. We know that. But then we also have the new GOAT, Patrick Mahomes, who is young, won ready, won Super Bowl, former Met, well, his dad was. And there's also one crazy thing about the Super Bowl. It's going to blow your mind. These two quarterbacks from each team, both has been in the MLB. It was Tom Brady, Montreal catcher, and also Patrick Mahomes was a pitcher for the Detroit Tigers. Did you know that, Ethan? Yes, I actually did, but I bet all these viewers did not. So now let's go for our predictions. If you didn't already watch his video, he had all predictions with his yeah, brother. Yeah, it, uh, it didn't have that much views, so you probably did not see it. And before I say anything else about the Super Bowl, get Spencer's uncle's video to 1,000 views. Pound for pound. Baby. I'm overreacting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so am I going first? Uh, yeah, you go first. But uh, warning, warning everyone. Per these predictions are not on the internet. They, we didn't search these up. These are all from the heart. And yes. we are not sure already. So it's like, you can believe us if you want, but you can also have your own predictions. These are just average guesses from us. Like, it just comes to our brain, like how we feel, like how these players would do stat-wise and team-wise. Ethan, what do you think is going to happen? I think Tom Brady is just a great player, but I think that they'll fall just a teensy bit short because Tom, Brady, Tom Brady's kind of aging, even though this jersey, I would say I don't want them to win, but I would like it better if they win, so both the I do want them to win, but I think Patrick Mahomes is too much of a beast to lose in this game because I think he has better weapons such as Tyree Kill, better defense. He has Travis Kelsey, and Tom Brady only has Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. So, in my opinion, I think it's going to be a a thirty, um, not thirty one, a twenty eight to twenty one game Chiefs win. So. That's that's a good guess. I will say that. That is an average guess. It can happen. It cannot. There, it's a, it, it, it's anyone's game right now. Just like how I said earlier, Tom Brady, veteran, Mahomes, young goat. It's going to be a big game. And for my predictions, I have so much numbers in my head, my brain is starting to hurt. 
So one prediction I have, I think the Chiefs are going to win. It, it's kind of close to Ethan's, but it's not the same. 24 to 7 Chiefs. I just feel it. Like Okay, I have a question. Before you go on, I have a question. What? Why do you think that Tom Brady will only score one touchdown? It just... It just doesn't feel right. The Chiefs defense, they're going to end up blocking. They're going to end up picking. I'm just going to say that, but we also have another one. I know it's going to be the first touchdown. It's just an average guess, but I know, I know it. They're, they're going to throw it to Tyreek. It's going to be like – it's just gonna, it might be a Hail Mary or it might be like a quick pass or a run. I feel like Tyreek – it will get that first touchdown, or maybe or, um, there might be a rush. You never know. Okay. Mahomes can do anything. He has the power. He even plays I, have, three I, I have a question. You can shoot back the same question to me. Who do you think, name two players, on the one player on the Chiefs defense and one player on the Chiefs offense, who, do, who you think is going to just do explode, and same with Tampa. I don't think the defense for Chiefs isn't going to do so, like, amazing, amazing. I only think it's going to be the offense keyword. So, so do basically, you- like, I feel like the Chiefs defense is going to try and pick it, but then it's going to drop. But, or I feel like Brady is going to, like, throw bad throws. No offense. He is a legend. Or he and just the his – all of his players might not catch it. You know, they – in practice yesterday, I was watching it. He was doing good, but I thought the Chiefs were practicing. So I'm trying that. to say, what defender on the Chiefs do you think is just going to do insanely well to stop them from scoring from your prediction? Uh, that's hard. Um, in my opinion, if I think that Tom Brady would be not throw, I think Ty- Tyron Matthew would just do be it. Would be the guy. And Thornhill could also. Chris Jones can be good. So, what do you think is just going to rule the game? Do you think it's going to be, like, picks, touchdowns, field goals? It's all going to be touchdowns. I'm saying maybe, like, one one field goal. I I feel like we're going to get one of those. From From your perspective, from your prediction, you had one one field goal from the Chiefs? Or do you think that they're scoring two-point two conversions here? I think they're going to get probably a um, field goal. It, it, I feel like they'll do it. I, um, they, if you didn't watch a game like early in the season, I think it was like Chiefs Chargers. The kicker, I think it's Harrison Bunker, right? Butker. My, no, it's that. It's how it, he got that field goal. He won the game for the Chiefs. He did that huge field goal for the Chiefs to destroy the Chargers. That, this, that, he's not not talking about Week 17. If you were thinking about oh, that, mine. It was like Week Three or Week Four. It was somewhere around that. And Ethan, who do you think will do amazing for the Buccaneers? Like the Buccaneers. To be honest, I think they're gonna put the, the Chiefs are gonna put their best defenders on Mike Evans and Chris Godwin, just like last game for the Bucks. I think Scotty Miller is gonna have a good game. Oh, Devon White, he did pretty good against my Saints. He he destroyed, got, up, got a pick in the fourth yes. quarter, running out of time, and that's when I lost hope in my. If I had to pick one defensive player from them who's gonna just do well, it's Devon White. He is just a beast. He is just really good. Do you think Aaron Rodgers should have won MVP? Um, that's a tough question because Aaron Rodgers, I'm pretty sure, had more touchdowns, but he, they both had insanely good weapons from both. I'm talking about Patrick Mahomes. In my opinion, I think Patrick Mahomes deserved it, so I agree. Um. And also, we have other news for football, obviously. This is not 
a little baseball video. And also, if you didn't hear, Marcel Zuna signed like a four-year deal with Braves, even though he knows that there won't be universal DH. Maybe he can play left. He's he's not the best defender. We all know that. Do you agree, Ethan? Yes, but I think he's just good uh, for his hitting. His hitting is just really good. If He had a pretty good season this year. If the year is the same for this year as next year or this season, he's going to go off. We all understand that if it will be 160 games or if it will be 162 games or okay. be shorter, he can still dominate. Okay. Um, okay. Can, I, can I ask you one question? I know this has been going around for a couple of years now, but what do you think would have happened if – Miami did not trade all these three players. Miami did good this year. They made it to the playoffs because they have a young team. They traded all the old players for young players. But if they didn't trade Yelich, Yelich would have won an MVP. They would have made it to the playoffs in 2018. But obviously, we all know Stanton got hurt for the last 100 years. He can't recover. And then we also have... Um, Marcelo Zuna and D Gordon. D Gordon was a speed and also Jose Fernandez. If he did not die in the car crash, he would have been a legend. Cy Young winner. I mean, I'm even guessing a Hall of Famer. He was such a dominant pitcher. All my Mets fans, he had a tough time facing him. And also uh, Marcelo Zuna, he probably would have taken them to a World Series. I'm just going to say that. Yeah, but what do you feel about the Dodgers team right now? They've got a stacked team. They won, the World, they won the World Series this year. They can win the World okay. Series again. Okay, okay. I'm saying, like, like if we know that they're stacked, I think that's going to make a tough time for the Mets to, like, do dominate. I feel like right, if we had Bauer, the Mets, we, we all felt so good. We didn't get Springer. Okay, that was our main one. We didn't get Romito. And now not Bauer. That's going to really not help us. But what? The Dodgers already have an amazing rotation. They don't need Bauer. They have Kershaw, Bueller, Arias can pitch, Price. He's, he might have an outstanding year. They have such a good rotation. They don't need Bauer. And also their offense, Seager, Will Smith, Muncy, um, losing Peterson, that was kind of sad for Dodger fans. But they also had Bellinger and Betts in the outfield. Like, Gavin Lux, who's going to be a next uh, Dustin May, amazing pitcher. Their bullpen is stacked. Kenley Jansen. I don't know why they need Bauer. I think, in my opinion, I think they were they wanted to get Bauer. They just wanted to take they wanted it to take. They wanted him to take it away from the Mets, just so the Mets don't dominate them next year, and they successfully done that. The Padres did it. They did an amazing job. Yes. Korean players, um, getting Snell, Darvish. They have Tatis already. Machado, I know. I know. Parker, you've talked about this a lot on your channel, especially last video. Of the MLB show one. The what do you, how do you feel about Tatis's career, and how do you think it's going to go for him? In my opinion, I think he's going to be very good. I think he's going to win a couple of MVPs. I think he's going to dominate. I think he's going to be a legend. I really do. But if he doesn't have an outstanding year, he's definitely going to hit 100 home runs plus. And also, I'm really happy that he's on the cover. Also, Jackie Robinson. I like how MLB the show. Uh, San Diego Studios did it. They cross platform. And they also are donating one dollar every purchase for the digital deluxe and collector's edition for the JRF Foundation. Okay, guys, comment this down below. Tell me what I should do. Should I buy the collector's edition or should I pre-order it? I think I'm gonna pre-order it. So. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, but me and Spencer are probably going to do the same thing. So, and Also, if you didn't hear already, Luby's might have, like, he, there's a negotiating right now, like, 630K for next year. Luby's might return to Superdome um, for our Saints, and he, if he does, shout out to Breeze. He's like the cookie Carrasco. 
no, Cookie Carrasco. I mean, Albert Pujols of football. Or it might be Brady. That's a huge battle. Brady versus Breeze. And, yeah. So if you didn't already, subscribe to Mr. Man Does Sports 25. Subscribe to me. Like the video. Post notifications on. And come down below W. W. And thank you. Thank you, Bash Baseball 24, for giving me the chance to be your special guest. That this time, hopefully I can post more because I haven't been doing great. But go watch my box video. I think that was very good. So, bye, guys.